Hello, this is Scott from Optics Realm. It's October 2005. This is Optics Tutorial number five. We're going to talk about Newton's thin lens equation, and it's great for understanding near collimated beams. So I want to provide an understanding to the audience for collimated beams or near collimated beams uh, that could be diverging or converging. And also I want to talk about uh, power in terms of diopters. So 2.3 diopters. W what does that mean? How far away is the image? I'm calibrated to lengths, to physical lengths. What does diopters mean? Well, this, this tutorial is going to talk about and bridge the gap between those two things. We're going to talk about Newton's thin lens equation. Newton obviously was a giant in physics. He talked about the laws of, he created the laws of motion, characterized the laws of motion, and he contributed to optics, imaging through a lens with his thin lens equation. His thin lens equation is different than the lens maker's equation because he references distances from the front foc from the focal points. So the object distance x is referenced from the front focus here. His image distance x prime is referenced from the back focus here. This uses a Cartesian coordinate system, so the product of these two images times a negative sign equals the focal length squared. Yes, I know it's another imaging method. We talked about the thin lens, uh, the lens maker's equation in session three, and we talked about the lens imaging nomograph in session four. There's times you want to use some, and there's times you want to use others. So let's just give some quick examples. Example one, we have a 100 millimeter focal length lens, and there's a real object 50 millimeters from the front focus. Where is the image? Your image, dis your object distance equals negative 50, so re-manipulating Newton's equations, you get focal length squared divided by the object distance is 200 millimeters. Now this is the image from the back focus. It's really 300 millimeters from the lens. Example two, the lens has a focal length of two inches. How far do we need to move focus from the back focus for an object that's 100 feet away? So 100 feet away is pretty far. It's near collimation. So I'm going to go through this by the numbers. Your image distance equals a negative here, 100 feet minus 2 inches because it's measured from the front focus. We could ignore this part. This, this is tiny compared to the overall length. But your object distance is 2 inches quantity squared divided by your object distance and it's 3.3 thousandths of an inch from focus. And I want to reiterate the object distance for a for a very distant object is roughly the focal length squared divided by the distance to the object. Newton's equation is great for eyepieces and I'm going to talk today and apply understanding Newton's thin lens equation and understanding power talking about eyepieces. It's what I'm comfortable with. Again, this is sensitive to sign conventions. It's a Cartesian coordinate system. Distances to the right of the lens are positive. Distances to the left are negative. So let's give some examples here. Let's talk about power and the infinite conjugate. So specifying defocus in terms of a length is kind of cumbersome. So for instance here, we've got an eye, and we'll say I'm not focused at infinity, but at 1,263 millimeters, and let's say this is an eyepiece. So we'll put an eyepiece in place, and we've got the green, the green rays for a perfectly collimated eye. The green rays come to a focus here. This is where your focus is for, for this focal length of lens. Sounded redundant. But let's say we've got the, the red rays. So the red projected forward, you're really imaging here, but when it goes through the lens, it's got some defocus. It's really coming to a focus here. This also applies for an afocal system. So for these systems, one uses power to describe defocus. Think of power as one over curvature of that wave front. So some people like to specify the radius of curvature of a lens in the radius, and some like to do it in terms of curvature, which is one over radius. In this, zero power means perfect coll collimation. And the units for power is usually diopters, which is the inverse meters. So instead of saying, my eye focuses at 1,263 millimeters, which is myopic, 
Instead say, my, eye is, my relaxed eye has a negative 0.8 diopters of air, which is found by 1 over 1.263 meters. And again, zero power means zero, it means perfect collimation. So let's talk about sign convention, because there's a negative in that sign. If you're myopic, these red rays, your power is actually negative. So if we were to put an LCD or a, a piece of paper here in this eyepiece, you actually would be focused for negative power. It would be diverging rays coming out. On the other hand, if you put your LCD aft of the lens, your rays coming out will be converging and your power is positive. This power is not to be confused with magnifying power from a simple magnifier. We'll be talking about that later. Let's convert an eyepiece linear focus to power. Recall power, and sometimes people use phi as the, the Greek net, uh, letter phi, and that's 1 over your object distance. And use Newton's equations, you re-manipulate, x prime equals this, you invert x prime, and you've got to multiply by 1,000 to convert your linear dimensions in millimeters to diopters, which is inverse meters. So your power in diopters is equal to how much you've defocused divided by your focal length squared times 1,000. Converting eyepiece power to a linear focus, so this delta focus from infinity, we just manipulate, algebraically manipulate that previous equation. Your defocus is negative your power in diopters times your focal length divided by 1,000. Uh, assuming you're in millimeters and you want to go to diopters. Here's an example. We have a hundred, uh, excuse me, a 10 millimeter focal length eyepiece. How much will the eye have to adapt if the object you're looking at through the lens is defocused 100 microns? And in this case, we're going to say the object moves away from focus. Now you go through the equations here, and it turns out it's about a diopter, and you'll be a positive diopter. Here's the homework. We're going to use an off-the-shelf eyepiece from Edmund Optics, an RKE eyepiece with a focal length of 21 and a half millimeters. Your customer's calling and saying that uh, it appears that the object is out of focus and you find out he's not wearing gla his glasses. And based on how much he's having to refocus, you can estimate his eyeglass prescription. And then I want you to uh, find out what the wavefront, the radius of the wavefront of his eye, of his um, um, faulty eye is. That's it. This is Optics Realm. You can get a hold of me at opticsrealm.com via email or via Twitter. Thank you for tuning in and have a good day.